Radio, uh, evening. It's uh, Joe here again. Data Analytics Ireland back for another vi video series in OR again. This time on lists. Um, essentially, we're going to try and do sort lists and use lists in OR Studio. Uh, but to show you some intricacies of doing that and how you go about doing it, it's probably not as straightforward as you would expect with uh, you get with other program languages but look that's the nature of different uh, program languages different ways of doing things but they give you the same end result so there's not too much of a work around so i'm going to take you through this bit of code here um what i think i'll do is i'll actually just run it and then i'll show you the output will come down here and then we'll step back up here and we'll just go to some of this logic here okay so if I just do this, right, so let's just start here, right? So I'm going to start with example one. So basically, here we are in example one. We're basically creating the list. So very straightforward in OR. You do the list this way. So you basically could set the list one equal to uh, the list function and you assign your values. So the thing about the lists to be conscious of is it contain any type of character in it. So this is numeric or alphabetic values. Um, so the other thing to be conscious of is lists. So lists, all they do is store list inf store and list information. There wasn't any sorting capability with them. Um, another way to look at them, are, which will come down down here in a second, is they're a vector. Um, so what you could do is because they can't be sorted, you can convert them to a vector. Um, and the vector has the properties then in their functions of allowing the list to be sorted. Um, so I'm going to go to that now in a second. So just be conscious when you're using lists, you can sort any values in them. But when you try to sort them or do anything along those lines, it's not the best and easy. And in OR, a lot of stuff is converted into vectors. Um, so just very quickly before we go down. So you'll see here is the output of the list. So there's the list. So it's basically what it's doing is it's giving you a, it's, it's like a row value here, basically for row one. And then this is index value one, um, value five, then is row two, index one, sorry, index, sorry, this is index one, row, this is index two, index three, index four, index five, so on and so forth. So you could basically, it's like a list, set a list from a list, you could access any of these um within the list up here to get the values you need it's not ideal if you want to use it for other things and do work with it so that's why you would convert it to a vector okay so credit to a vector first things first is we're going to convert it here but just maybe to understand a bit about this function you're going to use it's used to see open brackets it's just basically here um it's used to create the vector and you can just put in type or assign values explicitly. It's basically a, a vector though, to be careful or conscious of, is a sequence of data elements of the same type. So if you type in this here, so we're on example two, when we actually run this logic and printed it, printed it out, okay? Even though you have numbers and character, you have numbers and letters in here, it's basically going to, it's not going to distinguish between the numbers and letters, so it's going to assign a data type character. Okay, so it's something to be conscious of. Because it's the same data type, um, you can sort it. So in this instance, this is example two, we've sorted that this decrease in is false. Okay, so essentially we are looking here. Okay. Decreasing is false, that means you go from the lowest to the top. But because it's it's not recognizing that there's numbers and letters in here, it's basically doing one, two, three, four, five, and then A to B. Okay. So in this example, it's the same again. If you did you have the same data set, but you wanted to decreasing is equal to true. Now in this instance, what and this is example three, you're basically once it sorts it it basically goes B, A, and then it goes 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So again, it does sort it, does it sort it in, in decreasing value, but it doesn't distinguish between letters and 
letters here, sorry, and numbers here. So all it will do is we'll sort it, put the letters first, put the numbers second. So if you are working away and uh, looking to use elements of this list, you probably need to split it out, uh, sorry, elements of this vector, you need to split it out so that you kind of use it more um, to the way you, you want it in your code. Okay, so the final thing just to say to you is we use the function here sort, we use the function sort int here. Okay, now because we returned use the function sort int, it basically went and created a data type character. But look here now, on the next one we've taken out B and A. Okay, and we use the same function again sort int. And it's obviously within a vector. We put its decreasing value, decreasing equal to false. All right, but the so what basically means you start from the lowest up. Okay, what we'll have a look at the data type though. The data type because we've taken out B and A. Um, originally when we had them included, the data type for that vector was a character. Now it's basically recognizing because the data type we've removed B and A, it's recognized it's only numbers and the data type is assigned a double. So that's basically a an overview. I'll just change this to true here very quickly just to show you. Okay. And so that should go five, four, three, two, one now on this last one. I'll just run that again. Okay, so there you go, five, four, three, two, one. And it's still the same data type double. So that's an overview of lists, how to sort them the different ways. Um, the different data types that can be assigned um, and when you want to sort a list you need to change it over to a vector um, and when you're in a vector then even the vectors have uh, specific data types um, depending on the data you have within the vector so as again just to reiterate if you have numbers in it it will be more than likely, most likely to be a double you have numbers and letters it will be a character so you need to be careful when you're creating vectors the type of data you're in and what you're trying to do uh, will affect how you, your program is able to use that data and manipulate it. So thanks uh, for again for popping along. If it's your turn, we appreciate a thumbs up and a like on our YouTube channel. Also, uh, if you could subscribe to our channel, we really, really appreciate it. Thanks um, for doing that. We'll be doing more in the series for our, uh, our programming and in our studio soon. So by subscribing, you'll get to know more about this program language. So we'll catch you soon and have a good evening. Take care. Bye.